Durante la historia humana existen indicios sobre razas alienígenas. Muchas culturas poseen mitos sobre entidades con forma reptiloide y serpentina. Te aseguro que lo que verás a continuación no lo encontrarás en ningún otro canal, ya que esta información proviene de una fuente que trabajó para la élite. El ex agente John Lear fue un aviador que durante la época de Vietnam trabajó para la CIA y en la década de 1980 comenzó a inclinarse por las teorías de conspiración alienígena y el tratado que existe entre las fuerzas gubernamentales secretas. En la entrevista, Lear revela las falacias de la NASA con respecto a nuestro sistema solar y a las civilizaciones que habitan en ella. Además, si no estás al tanto, el ex agente de la CIA nos advirtió de cómo los medios de comunicación de Hollywood estaban financiados por la élite. Para implantar en los procesos cognitivos de la gente la idea de un futuro encuentro y la posibilidad de su existencia. On the echelon of all the entities and ETs out there, what is the top level? Serpents. The serpents. And the reptilians are below them. They're below them. And then everyone else is below that, pretty much. And uh, the reptilians infest every single planet to some extent. The serpents uh, sit back and uh, run things from their position. As far as where you know, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are, are you telling me there's more planets beyond that? Absolutely. There's 39 total, and they go out much farther than Pluto. And are there any in between Pluto and Earth? Probably. Or, yeah, probably. The only one I know a little bit about is the one that orbited between Jupiter and Mars, uh, was a planet called MAN, Man. Lou Baldwin wrote a book and uh, describes the fantastic society it was there. I think there was 100 billion people there. Uh, they had tremendous innovations. Their buildings were, you know, made of gold and silver and highways of diamonds. It was really something. Uh, that plan did not fit into the agenda that the serpents had. And the serpents, I've told you, are the head of everything that goes on in this universe. Mm -hmm. uh, at least those that have a physical body. And for some reason, and I don't know the reason, Planet Man was not in their agenda, and they blew it up. It took them 1.5 seconds to eliminate a planet that was two times as big as Earth with 100 billion people. And in 1.5 seconds, nothing was left except the asteroid belt. All the stuff we gold and stuff we find on the surface of the Earth, that's from That's from Partial. Planet Man. That's stuff right. that's been falling it down. And all of the uh, meteor showers that we have each year, I think there's like 10 of them, different type of media. Those come from the Planet Man disintegrating, mm -hmm. or as it disintegrated, and that's when we meet that particular uh, part of man, it uh, rains down on, on the Earth. What about the plants and the animals and all, all the different types of flora and fauna on this planet. Was that also engineered by these? Absolutely everything. Every mosquito, every mm -hmm. bug, every cockroach, yep. everything. Well, let's get it. That's carefully art. engineered yeah. by the serpent race. The planet Earth has been here for 13 billion years, not five as NASA term. Right. It has seen at least a hundred civilizations far more advanced than we are. And There's remnants of those civilizations under the Sea of Japan, uh, under the Sahara, uh, there's all kinds of remnants around just right under our nose. There's not a possibility that we could do anything to damage uh, the planet. The carbon footprint that we hear, totally BS. Global warming, total BS. I mean, there's not a single thing that humans 
who, for all practical purposes, only been here for a thousand or more years, right. could damage anything uh, on the planet Earth. What do you know about the pyramids? Very interesting. I've had a chance to crawl up in them when I lived there in Cairo between yeah. 1980 and 1982. It was still open, and we were able to climb all the way up and walk these huge 100-ton blocks fit within one ten-thousandth of an inch. I'll tell you one thing. The Egyptians did not build them. <laughs> <laughs> Who built them? E.T. built them. They were energy sources, like generators. And what they did is they used the sympathetic vibration of the Earth to create power. And there's thousands of pyramids yes. all over the world, but uh, they're all de deactivated now. And I noticed recently that the news is coming out slower and slower about the revealing of Antarctica, that they may have found something. And uh, how are they going to release that? Because that also indicates extraterrestrial presence. Apparently, whoever occupies Antarctica is not one bit interested in telling us uh, or showing us anything. It may made that very clear to the government, and we are not supposed to go down there. There's a small presence, uh, and every once in a while, um, uh, somebody will see something. For instance, a C-130 crew that Linda Moulton Howe uh, interviewed, and they accidentally saw one of the huge openings where you could see a city down in there, um, but they don't want us to know anything that went on. Have you ever heard about, uh, you know, the Pleiades and the Orion star systems uh, visiting us here on Earth and other planets? Yeah, we've been visited by thousands, thousands of ET civilizations. But when people say, well, if I wanted to meet an alien, how would I do that? And I say, just go down to the uh, strip there. Uh, they hang around the stratosphere, mm -hmm. and the way you can tell is if somebody looks just a little bit different, like their ears are just a little bit odd or their nose a little bit odd, just go by behind them and think real hard, I know you're an alien. And they'll go like that. They'll turn mm -hmm. like that because they'll be, they'll be caught off guard. I mean, yes. You're alien. John, do you think we're like living in a holographic universe? I mean, are we in the matrix? You know, is it really us? Are we looking through the eyes of a shell here and our soul is somewhere else. Emory is certainly possible. If there's unlimited dimensions, just imagine how how infinitely possible that would be. You know, our universe, uh, uh, we're told that uh, it all started with the Big Bang 19 billion years ago. That's totally false. There was no Big, uh, right. no big Bang. There was no dark energy. It's all total BS. The universe has been here forever and it's going to be here forever. Right, and we're not at a high enough IQ and consciousness to grasp, you know, what really did happen. And that's the other point. We must, you know, get out there. E.T. and the government spend untold resources to confuse you. Mm -hmm. They have the Dracos and this thing and those, those guys there and the Orions and everything else. It's just to confuse you. Uh, to keep you from figuring out the truth. And there's, it's such an effort to do that, there's, there's no way you're going to overcome that.